Sweden, which is like any ordinary rural road in Sweden. Um, and the only thing that I have to do is press the button and the car is like a cruise control. The car takes over, braking, steering, accelerating, driving completely automatically. So what's it following? What signal does it follow? It's a combination of the road and the car in front of us. So right now we're following a car, so it's both using the lateral position of the car in front of us, which we measure both with the radar as well as with the camera. And the camera is reading the lines and in the shape of the road. So and if, if we wouldn't have the car in front of us, we would only follow the road. And, and today, because we have, we have not been, this is really new, but when we're on the public road in Gothenburg, we also have a very detailed map on the way that the, the road is shaped and we recognize where we are on the map and I mean, we can lo locate ourselves. Currently, we all here and right now today, we only use the sensor information. And what if the lane markings are not clear enough, if it's snowing, for example? Well, if, if it's really covered with snow and you don't see any infrastructure, I mean, we won't drive automatically. Uh -huh. I mean, there, there are, of course, limitations to what you can do and what you cannot do. But as you can see, in, in, in kind of normal situations, I mean, it works smoothly and fine. And that we also have on public roads. But the, the really big challenge with this technology is also to ensure that it works in very critical situations. I mean, if there is suddenly pedestrians crossing the road of the car in front of us would suddenly crash with a standing truck, then you also, the car also has to avoid all accidents. And here, Esta Zero is the perfect place for us to, to test also self-driving cars in very critical situations. What kind of critical situations? It may be, um, it, it may be an animal crossing the road, it may be debris on the road. Now I have to change lanes and I will do this by hand because my colleagues is the car able to change lanes? Uh, this car is not. Uh, this is uh, in the Drive Me project in 2017. Um, th those will be able to change lanes. It's just that we we have not implemented this car yet. But but other critical situations maybe that there is debris on the road. That's that's a very typical one. There may be like uh, maybe there's a, like a spare wheel that somebody dropped or there's, there is a, an exhaust pipe. Uh, objects you cannot drive over. Uh, you don't meet them very often in the public road, but if you meet them, it can be critical. But here we can put loads of things on the road and test uh, that the car actually can deal with it.